Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. In April 2021, the Indian Ministry of Defense had issued an official RFI for the phased purchase of 350 next generation light tanks under Make in India scheme of DAP 2020. The Army wanted a light tank with combat weight not to exceed 25 tons and feature modular and upgradable main gun secondary armament for anti-air and ground roles with a different caliber and remote assisted weapon station. Supporting Make in India initiative, in March 2022, the light tanks have been moved under Make 1 category of DAP 2020 by Ministry of Defence and it will be funded by government. The MOD has given in principle approval for development of a light tank and the Defence Equation Council is expected to accord the acceptance of necessity for the light tank soon. DRDO is the lead development agency for light tank in partnership with LNT as development come production partner or DCPP. The design and development of light tank is being pursued under project Zoravar named after a legendary Sikh general who conquered Ladakh and Baltistan. The DRDO's light tank design information was revealed during Defence Expo 2022. The light tank will have an indigenous design and not based on K9 Vajra chases as being speculated earlier. It will have an approximate combat weight of 25 tons. It will be manned by a crew of three and can be easily transported via air, rail or road. The tank will have amphibious capability as well. The tank will offer modular protection with bolt-on retrofitable armor. Its frontal 60-degree arc will have protection of STNAG Level 4 and STNAG Level 2 elsewhere. The gun will feature a 105 mm high-pressure tank gun and 7.62 mm coaxial machine gun. The 105 mm gun to be featured is expected to be made by Belgian firm John Cockrell Defense SA, which can fire at a 42-degree elevation suited for mountain warfare. The light tank will be fitted with high-altitude operable power pack of 1000 horsepower and capable of firing multiple ammunition. There are three engines currently being explored for the light tank which are MTU of Germany, Caterpillar and Cummins of the USA. For transmission, two more options are being evaluated which are Rank of Germany and British firm Allison. The tank will feature next-generation niche technologies such as artificial intelligence, drone integration, active protection system, and high degree of situational awareness. As per reports from Times of India, the Rajnath Singh-led Defence Equation Council will soon take on the grant for acceptance of necessity for Armoured Fighting Vehicle Indian Light Tank or AFP ILT under Project Zoravar at a cost of around 17,500 crore rupees. The proposal is that 59 out of 354 light tanks, each weighing less than 25 tons with a high power to weight ratio as well as superior firepower and protection will be reserved for tanks developed by DRDO. The remaining 295 tanks will be manufactured under the government funded design and development projects for Indian industries in make one category of DAP procedure. DRDO can also compete with private players for this. The Army had strongly pitched for all 354 tanks to be produced by private sector under Make 1 category, but DRDO argued its CVRDE, that is Combat Vehicle Research and Development Establishment, working to develop a light tank prototype with private sector giant Larsen and Tubro as lead system integrator. DRU says that its first light tank prototype will be rolled out by mid of 2023. So the decision is that 59 tanks will be reserved for DRDO with the condition that it delivers a successful prototype ahead of the others in the fray. DRDO was given the light tank project in November 2021 with a deadline of three years. That is, the project should be completed by November 2024. This includes the completion of design, development and trials. While the timelines seems to be a bit aggressive, DRDO and LNT seems to be confident in meeting them. JD Patil from LNT has told that the light tank rollout on test tracks 
will be by the middle of next year this was today's update please let us know your views on this in comment section if you like the video do not forget to like share and subscribe with this i would like to say goodbye and jai hind we'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector